mean, obviously the situation that he was in was the worst of the worst. But, Getting married alive. Yeah. <laughs> and, very lucky. Tonight, a Shelby County man is sharing his story after he was buried in a trench for nearly four hours yesterday at a construction site in Noblesville. In a Fox 59 exclusive tonight, he tells Courtney Spinelli he is thankful for those who saved him. You know, a lot of people get life death scared because the last 40 seconds, mine last four hours. For perspective, that's 240 minutes. Scared and scared death. Dustin and his younger brother Devin were working together like they have been for years. They say everything was checked and safe and that this was a freak accident. Once I got to the bottom, 19 and a half foot deep, I could feel the bottom of my feet. Dustin says it happened in the blink of an eye as the ground collapsed under his feet. In seconds, he was up to his shoulders in heavy debris with rising water posing a threat. When it gets around the body, it can crush and it makes it hard to breathe. At times, Dustin says it was. I couldn't breathe and I couldn't talk. And, you know, just I started slowing my breaths down. The ground was just sucking me in, like just trying to push just pushing me down. Rescue crews from several departments, including Indianapolis Fire and Noblesville Fire, worked together just weeks ago. They trained for this scenario, but it's not likely they expected to use that training so soon. It always seems like we do training on that type of an incident, and then it happens shortly after. For about four hours, crews worked to free Dustin. More than 25,000 pounds of water pumped out of the ditch in the process. It did not stop. Sweat pouring off of them, just, and they did not stop. As crews did their job, they say Devin was instrumental in keeping Dustin calm. He's the man. He is the man. They would talk to each other and kind of regroup and get back on the right mindset for us to be able to help. And even in the moments where hope began to fade, Dustin says his brother was right there. You know, I looked back up. I said, man, I'm going to make it out of here, ain't I, man? I said, I think you are, man. Some might say it's time to play the lottery. He escaped with only soreness, but Dustin says he wouldn't be here without the crews that put their safety on the line to save him. I love him. I love them. You owe your life to them. Oh, yes, yes. Anytime we have a positive outcome like that, it's a sense of relief. And Dustin says he didn't realize how hungry he was after spending his lunch up to his shoulders in the mud. You know, when I was ready for a cheeseburger after the whole thing, <laughs> I was starving. His family says that request was the least they could do after the day he had. It was a long day, long day for sure. And one that he says gave him a greater appreciation for life and those who saved his. Reporting in Noblesville, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.